News from the stampede in Calgary as a horse from chuck wagon driver Chris Molly's team was, was euthanized following a race injury. The decision prompted animal rights activists to gather to protest the rodeo. Protesters hung up a large banner saying rodeo kills facing the stampede grounds. Early in the afternoon, anti-rodeo ralliers also waved protest posters. Animal activists gathered from across Alberta and British Columbia. Those speaking out in opposition say they would prefer to keep the stampede as a party and say the rodeo should go because of the harm done to the animals. And they were very thorough and checked people and I love that they let you take your water bottles in. There's always normally a police officer within like sight. There's a lot of them around. It just makes it so much more enjoyable just to know that those people are there if you do need their help. And despite booming attendance at this year's stampede, there have been no major security incidents reported. Strict security protocols on the ground include bag searches, metal detectors and police patrol. Visitors say they appreciate the heightened security plan. Joining us now is coordinator with Direct Action Everywhere Toronto and co-founder of Animal Rights Toronto, Jenny McQueen. Jenny, thank you for your time today. Uh, your reaction to the horse uh, that was euthanized? Well, I think, you know, the public have to start realizing that the uh, chuck wagon and the Calgary stampede is absolutely profit driven and the horses did not consent to be part of this uh, event. You know, they suffer through extreme stress, they suffer, they suffer horrendous injuries, and, you know, thank goodness there's some protesters there trying to, um, you know, disrupt this normalization of using animals in sports, which kill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, humane societies will tell you that this is absolutely wrong. Um, they list the number of deaths. And, you know, my comment is, are we, are we in the Roman times? Are, are we celebrating deaths of animals? and even deaths of humans at these, um, these events. Um, what message do you think is sent with uh, this decision? You know, um, what method? Um, message. What message what? do you think is sent with this de the decision to euthanize the horse? Well, it's, it's kind of obvious to me that um, a lot of times horses will be euthanized when they could be um, rehabilitated easily, but at cost. And, you know, um, I found a, um, a quote from a trainer who was retiring in 2015. And, you know, he let out that dirty secret that, uh, you know, horses are really expensive to keep. And while they're, you know, sold for maybe even like 80 or 90,000, they're all thoroughbreds in the chuck wagons. You know, the, a, a lot of them end up at the slaughterhouse. So, you know, we like to think that um, as Canadians, we care for animals and, you know, we're a kind nation. But then when you look at the reality of something like the chuck wagon race, you know, even after they've made, you know, um, I'm gonna do the air quotes, even after they've made the safety, um, amendments to it. It's still, um, it's still horrendous. Mm. And a lot of times, I mean, we're not even talking about all the other animals who are completely stressed out at this event and who die in, in nasty ways too. Right. Well, uh, Jenny, we thank you so much for your time today. Jenny McQueen, coordinator with Direct Action Everywhere Toronto and co-founder right. of Animal Rights Toronto. Can I mention one more thing? No. Uh, quickly, quickly, yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, Jan Arden is a big proponent of a campaign called Horses Hit. So I would really implore people to, you know, if they care about horses, then look up this campaign and stop supporting events that cause so much harm to animals. Okay, Jenny, Jenny McQueen, thank you so much again for your time. We appreciate it.